Welcome back to part 8 of making a Minecraft hack client for 1.8.9. In this video, we're going to be creating a main menu and a notification system for our client. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, in our tutorial, in our UI package, we're going to make a new package named main menu. Now, let's just refactor this and put it in the UI class because currently it's in UI.clickGUI. So move package to directory and just remove the click UI here and there we go main menu I made a typo there we go let's make a new Java class main menu GUI and another Java class menu button let's have this extends GUI button and main menu GUI extends GUI screen we're going to be making the main menu GUI before our main menu button. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to override init GUI and just say int button width equals 200, int button height equals 20, int x center equals width divided by 2 minus button width divided by 2, int y start equals height divided by 2 minus button height divided by two button list dot clear new menu button which we'll make in just a second zero x center y start button width button height and i one eight in from the client dot resources dot format menu dot single player let's copy this down uh, three more times all right then let's change the ID here to one two and three why start plus 25 plus 50 and plus 75 and then here is going to be menu dot multiplayer dot options and dot quit. Now let's go ahead and make this menu button so we can get rid of these red errors here. Now this one is pretty simple. Um, we're just going to override draw button. Um, let's and then if visible boolean hovered equals mouse x is greater than or equal to x position and mouse y mouse y is greater than or equal to y position and mouse x is less than x position plus width and mouse ma I can't spell mouse y is less than y position plus height so there we go we're gonna make it a few more variables int primary color equals 0x dd 22 2 int background color ground color is equal to hovered then if if hovered 0x dd 33 33 33 if it's not hovered just primary color then draw rex x position y position x position plus width y position plus height and then background color now we can say gl state manager dot push matrix and then pop matrix and in between those gl state manager dot scale 1.2 f 1.2 f and 1.2 f int text color is equal to 0x ff actually we can just make that negative one int text x is equal to cast it to an int x position plus cast to a float width divided by 2 divided by 1.2 f copy that down text y equals y position plus cast it to a float uh, height height div uh, not divided by 2 but minus 8 then divided by 2, divided by 1.2f, put an extra parenthesis here. Actually, no, put the extra parenthesis um, 
right there. And then just draw centered string MC dot font render OBJ display string text X text Y and then text color. Great. So now menu button is done. Why are we getting an error here? But yeah, we need to make a constructor. Let's just make our own. It'd be easier. So public, I can't spell today. Public button or menu button int button ID int x int y int width n int height n in string button text. There we go. And then just put those into a super. So super button ID x y within height n and button and button text. Right, so now menu button is done and we can move over to main menu GUI. The rest of this is pretty simple. So draw screen in primary color equals 0x FF48 BDFA and shifting color is equal to shift color, which we'll make in just a second and then pass in primary color. Uh, draw gradient rect zero comma zero comma width comma height comma primary color. Oh, and we have to put in shifting color. There we go. And then GL state manager dot push matrix. Copy that down. Pop matrix. GL state manager dot scale three point zero f three point zero f and three point zero f draw centered string uh font render obj put in tutorial client width divided by six ten and primary color now let's make this uh shift color so uh private int shift color int color float time pass it to a float system dot current time millis um the remainder of 10,000 to along divided by 10,000.0f floats of an array hsb equals color from java.awt dot rgb to s to hsb and then color shift it by 16 bits um and then uh binary operand of 0xff color shifted by 8 bits and 0xff then color and 0xff and null there we go and then hsb first one equals hsb array of 0 or index of 0 plus time and then the remainder of that of 1.0f return color dot hsb to dot uh, hsb to rgb uh, hsb index is zero hsb index one hsb index two and then uh, or color and zero x ff zero 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 all right and we just have one more thing to do override action performed and just make a switch statement of switch button dot id case zero for the first button for index of id zero which is single player mc not display gui screen new gui select world pass in this and break oh case one mc dot display gui screen new gui multiplayer this and break Case two MC dot display GUI screen new GUI options and pass in this and MC dot game settings. And then finally for the quit button, let's also put in break here. Case three MC not shut down and break. Great. So now if we launch our client, we will see a distinct lack of our custom GUI screen because we're not actually using the GUI screen. So we'll do that next. So you're going to go over to edit, find find in files and look up gui main menu and project open and find window and then anywhere you see gui main menu you're going to replace that with main menu gui except 
for net.optifine.reflect and test underscore run. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, main menu GUI, copy that, paste. Next one, uh, you can skip the imports, put that in there. Uh, you can skip the actual GUI main menu screen. Uh, you can just skip this one and update main menu. It's fine. You can uh, you should put it in the actual private update main menu, but but here in reflector.set field value, you can just leave it. And then finally, net Minecraft realms, paste. There we go. So now if we launch the client, uh, we're going to see our custom main menu. Great. So I made a pretty simple main menu just to show you the basics, but you'll see this gradient in the background, our tutorial client, and some buttons. So even if we go into single player and hit cancel and go back, Multiplayer, cancel, go back, options, done. You'll see the main menu always appears here. Great, so now the last thing I'd like to do in this one is to make a notification system. This one is pretty simple. All we're going to do is close the CY thing, make a new package named notification, new Java class notification, private final string module name private final string status private final long start time private final long display time we're going to make a public notification notification string module name boolean enabled this dot module name equals module name this dot status equals enabled question mark enabled else disabled this dot start time equals system dot current time millis and this dot display time display time equals two thousand for two seconds public boolean should remove return system dot current time millis minus start time is greater than or equal to display time then last thing in this class we have to make a public void draw and ints y offsets as a parameter scaled resolution sr equals new scaled resolution mc uh let's just do tutorial dot instance so I get mc long elapsed equals System uh, current time millis minus start time. Double remaining percentage uh, to a double elapsed uh, divided by display time. Int width equals 95. Int height equals 18. Int x equals sr that gets scaled width divided or er, minus width minus 2. And y equals sr to get scaled height minus y offset minus height minus 2. Render util dot draw rect x, y, width, height, and 0x, 0, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then mc dot, then tutorial dot instance dot dot get fr dot draw string with shadow module name uh, plus uh, empty space plus statics plus status x plus 3 y plus 5 and negative 1 for the color and then int progress bar width pass it to an int and then width times 
one minus remaining percentage render util dot draw rect x comma y plus height minus two progress bar width two and zero x ff four eight b d f a so that's notification done now let's just make a new notification manager this one is really simple too so private static final list uh notification notifications equals new array list public static void add notification string module name boolean enabled notifications dot add new notification module name enabled public static void render notifications int y offset equals zero for int i equals zero i is less than notifications dot size i plus plus notification notification equals notification notifications dot get i notification dot draw y offset and y offset plus e plus equals 30 if notification dot should remove notifications dot dot remove i i minus minus y oh notifications not notification and then the last thing we have to do is go into module ample render in HUD and just below or just above float offset notification manager notification manager dot render notifications now if you run the client we'll have notifications for when you toggle them ah I know why uh, in module here in our set enabled just below this dot toggled equals state let's say on toggle and the method we'll just make right now so public void on toggle if mc dot the world does not equal null if not this dot get name dot equals ignore case click gui notification manager dot add notification this dot get name and toggle because obviously we're rendering the modules but we don't have any modules yet because we're not calling this when it's on toggle but now it should work and finally single player mcp world and now if we put in flight you see flight enabled flight disabled and it'll work for anything fastbow calora or auto sword and it'll automatically keep incrementing up all right so i hope you enjoyed this video um in the next video we might uh, be making a target hud um in a couple of videos from now i plan to add some sort of back end to this so that we can um, almost have a key checking system to for maybe you want to turn this into a paid client someday once you've developed it enough um, so we might make a key system in one video and I also want to make a launcher at one point uh, so yeah I'll see you in the next one which we'll probably make a target HUD in